Neil, a difficult place to come, but you'll be delighted with the three points. Oh, yeah, I'm thrilled. That's, um, it was really Groundhog Day again, where we um, were the dominant team, and, and we created some great chances and not taking them. But uh, the clean sheet's really important as well, first one of the season, which I'm delighted with, and um, I thought we were very good. I thought to come away from... And we have, to be fair, played really well away from home this season. So, yeah, it's a great win and puts us comfortably in the top six in the semi-final, so it's been a good week. The man that walked behind you there, Anthony Stokes, was on fire again today. Did you think so? He, um, his his link-up play was poor at times, but he's a threat, you know? And he always has that quality and that magic. He's so unlucky with the free kick, and I think uh, Scott Fox made a couple of fantastic saves. He'd be disappointed Stokes would be the one that he saved low down, because that should be in the corner of the net, you know? He'd be disappointed with that. But all the rest of them were great efforts, and um, yeah, I mean, he's a, he's, he's a quality player, and he makes us better. It speaks volumes for the team's performance, though, that Ross County goalkeeper was named man of the match, similar to Scott Bain against Dundee a few weeks ago. Cliff, I'm not a big statistician, right? But if you look at over the course of this season so far, we have been the dominant team, as we were again on Tuesday night. You know, all I look at is attempts at goals. You know, and if we do, if we are, we're almost hitting 20 every game, mm -hmm. so we're doing something right. We're not scoring enough goals from Malaykin. Um, and we defended set players a lot better and we kept the clean sheet. That is fundamentally really important. And the win's you know, vital to us. If it had dropped points today again, I'd have probably gone home and stuck my head in the oven the way the last three weeks have gone. But yeah, we've got what we deserve today and we've, been, we've deserved that for a long time now. You mentioned the defence there. In fairness, they were a lot tighter today. Yeah, and Roscoe, when called upon, Ross made a fantastic save. But I think that's the only real time that Ross County got beyond us. So, yeah, I'm very, very pleased with that. And um, like I said, defensively we looked a lot, a lot more secure. I thought Louis had a great game at left back. Stephen, you know, came into the game. Should have scored twice. You know, he had a great chance first and second half. And the two centre halves played pretty well. So it's all about forging partnerships because we're a little bit short at the back at the minute. I thought we controlled the game well yeah. in the middle of the park as well. McGinn and Bartley, they just do what they do. Dylan McGeoch was back in, was running about all over the place. Martin Boyle and Simon Murray, they don't give defenders any peace. I thought them two were great today. I thought Simon was really good. Real good outlet for us, you know, first and second half. And Boyle was great. And you're right, Dylan, you know, at times makes the game look easy, you know. And John and Marv, you know, a very good partnership. So we're coming away from home and to dominate teams the way we are is all goes well for the season. Maybe I thought that Simon's maybe a little bit underappreciated at times when he's not scoring goals. He started on fire, but he's not scoring goals at the moment, but he's doing an awful lot more. Yeah, well, his work rate is, is, you know, makes it very, very difficult for teams. And we are creating a lot of chances through his good work, and we appreciate it. And I thought with the idea of maybe starting Danny, but you know, Danny's had a, a long week, you know. It's been a long week for him, you know, even though he played really well on Tuesday. And uh, we went with Simon because he's a great outball for us, and he was very, very good today. A massive win today before yeah. we take on Celtic next week. They're about the 58th attempt for a Scottish team to try and beat them after they beat Rangers today. Yeah, they were good today. We saw the first half and they just seemed to be finding the groove, you know, and mentally and physically, you know, they look a very good side. You know, they've got a good mentality about them. And yeah, I mean, it's going to be a difficult afternoon for us to know that, but not insurmountable. From your point of view, though, a massive challenge to go back to your own stomping ground and put one over on them. I, mean, I might lose a few friends if that happens, but um, I've got to be professional. You know, Hibs is my club now, and it'll be emotional for all of 30 seconds, and then it's time to work. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, and we've got them in the semi-final as well. So, plenty of big games to come up and get a you know savour.